hello you guys and welcome to today's video welcome to my channel if you are new here if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today i'm going to be giving you guys an empty apartment tour first and foremost before we even talk about anything happy new year this is my very first video of 2023 I took a nice little break, so that was really nice, but I just wanted to come on here and say Happy New Year. Welcome to the first video of 2023. I cannot wait to finally get the ball rolling and get back to a regular routine. Now, with that being said, if you're confused and you're like, girl, what? You moved? Yes, I posted a vlog not too long ago, actually, taking you guys along with me through different parts of LA downtown and just different areas because if you don't know, I have lived in LA County my entire life but i have never lived in the city downtown or anything like that i've always lived in the outskirts of la and y'all know me once my lease is up i dip i'm like okay <laughs> next place so i wanted to land in the city this time and experience what the city life is like that is where we are right now and so far i love it as you can see in the background i kind of already have some things set up all of my things are already moved in and everything but i am going to give you guys a fully empty apartment tour where there's nothing in here and then as we move on obviously throughout the vlogs and through decorating i will show you guys what it looks like as i'm adding my little touch to this place and making it feel like home so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get into it all right so upon walking in we get right into the kitchen i have all the lights on because it's a really rainy gloomy day but i think it looks really really beautiful with all the lights on regardless so here i have a dishwasher which i had at my old place too but this one's a lot more fancy a little more updated it's stainless steel fully and then i do have an electric stove which i've never had before i hear they they cook different so that's gonna be interesting to kind of mess with but I have an electric stove, microwave, and then I have a full size double door fridge, which I've also never had. All of my apartments I've had just like the regular, you know, one door situation. So here I actually have a full fridge to fill. Then down here I have a freezer, an ice maker. Really excited to do a little bit of organization in here, especially because I've never had a fridge like this. I do have quite a bit of storage space um, in the original unit that I had seen. Hold on, the light's adjusting. The apartment that I saw in person, the refrigerator was scooted a little bit more this way and there was a pantry right here, which I loved that because I have a pantry right now where I live and pantries are kind of hard to find in a lot of apartments. Unfortunately, my specific unit doesn't have that, but what I'm thinking is adding one on this side, just getting a tall unit from Ikea popping it there and then I'll have a full-on pantry so that's kind of what I'm thinking for that so from here we'll go ahead and move over to the bathroom I do have a thermostat that connects to my phone which I did not have at my old apartment I had a thermostat and I had central AC and heating but i had to get up every time i wanted to change the temperature which when you're sleepy in the middle of the night but you're hot it's kind of like i don't want to get up and go do it i just want to change it on my phone so now i can do that <laughs> it's the little thing it's kind of similar to my old place kind of it's a lot brighter and like white in here this is different i have a light up mirror in this apartment love that for my makeup videos and then there's a lot of lighting i can make it nice and bright in here and one thing that i appreciate about this place that i didn't realize i would appreciate as much as i do at my old apartment i sometimes would take a bath and the light up there was really really bright there was no in between it's either on or off whereas this one it has a dimmer so i'm able to bring it down a few notches turn these off first of all and bring it down a few notches so it can be really nice and moody when i'm taking a bath and i'm trying to chill and not have a super bright bright light in front of my face just a little a nice little touch lots of storage space in here too i have that side and then i have down here as well to put all of my toiletries and bathroom stuff of 
course nothing special here a toilet i'm probably going to add something up here to store towels and stuff because at my old apartment i had a cabinet up there where i would store all of my towels and extra toilet paper so i think i'm gonna look on amazon for you know some storage there i definitely want to add some contrast to this bathroom uh, especially because it is pretty much all very neutral toned and just kind of break up all of this neutralness <laughs> that is happening so we'll see how we do that uh, but that is a nice quick look at the bathroom and then right here we have two sliding doors and back here there is a coat closet which is larger much larger than the one that i had before so this is really nice i can store my vacuum my broom maybe my filming equipment just i love the fact that i have some extra storage space to work with here and then on this side as you can see here we have some something over here <laughs> we have a full-size washer and a dryer on this side so really nice the fact that i can this is key like in la believe it or not sometimes units do not have an in-house or in-unit washer dryer which can be very tedious to have to take all your stuff down and go to a laundromat or go to an on-site laundry room so this right here is a must-have for me personally <laughs> i have a lot of room up here to work with i did not have room no i didn't actually i didn't have any room at the top to store stuff at my old place. So I might put my laundry stuff up there and do a cute organizational situation up there. Or I can just do what I had at my old place and just slide in my laundry cart on this side. But if I do it up there, then I'll have this room to put my Dyson and my broom and any other cleaning stuff on this side. And I can use this for whatever else I wanna use it for. So who knows how I'm gonna end up doing that, but it's very convenient having those little crevices and extra space surrounding um, because I can really, you know, maximize the storage space in here. My living room is pretty spacious. I don't think I'm gonna put a dining table in here because I wanna maximize the space that I do have, but I feel like the living room is a really, really nice size. Let me show you actually compared to over here. So I'm standing in the corner of my apartment and you can see there's quite a bit of space, like literally a lot to work with. Pretty sure my TV stand is gonna go on this side, but my TV stand is really not that long. It's a lot shorter, so that's gonna be nice. And then the bedroom, it's already, yeah, it's getting a little dark in here because it's starting to get later. But this is my bedroom and it's, actually a lot bigger than my old bedroom a lot more roomy i'll be able to actually walk around in my bedroom and it's just this bedroom to me makes a lot more sense high ceilings just like in the living room and in the living room um up here you can kind of see in the living room it's high ceilings and then in the kitchen it's like a little bit lower as you can see here and from here i also have i won't show but i also have a really nice a view of the palm trees and a few buildings outside and then my closet so in here again a lot of space a lot more space than before i think i have to see once my clothes is in here but i have quite a few racks i have space up there to put my handbags maybe some other things in here so i'm excited to fill this up and you know make it a nice cozy closet as for the bedroom i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end up putting my bed on this side and then my nightstand is going to be over here since we have some plugs on this side it just seems like it's already set up to have the tv stand over not the tv stand my dresser over here and my tv so i'm gonna have that against this wall and then if i have enough room in between my nightstand and the wall i'm gonna put a desk over there or maybe put a desk here if i don't have a dining Table. It just depends on how much room I end up having. Let me turn off the lights too, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, before I turn this light off, see what I mean by it being nice and dim and moody in here? I can put my bath tray right there, light a candle, bring my book or my iPad, and I can have a relaxing night 
in my bathroom without it blinding me. <laughs> All right, there you go. So here it is, just natural daylight. It's nice and bright. I love the floors. I love, love, love the floors. I love how much space I have to work with. It's just, I, I can already envision how this space is going to look with my black bar stools. Once I add my little touch, add a little pantry over there for extra storage. And yeah, that is the entire apartment. Okay, so there you guys have it. Just an empty, clean slate. You guys are seeing the apartment completely, completely bare. As I'm standing here and looking around with all of my things in here, and as I'm starting to decorate it, I'm just like, I hope you guys love the way I'm putting things together it's it really already feels very cozy and I'm just getting started which is insane but I do want to thank you guys for following along with me throughout my apartments if you are a returning subscriber of mine and just through following me through this journey that I've been through with looking for new places and through the ups and downs in my life I just want to thank you guys so 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 much for sticking with me and I cannot wait to show you guys what this place starts to look like once I add my little touch to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in my next one.